Carlos. Good afternoon. Dzień dobry. Bonjour. Guten Tag. Oh, wow, what's the other one? Uh, buenos dias or buenos noches or whatever it is in Spain. Anyway, here we go. Here's my uh, belly pan. We're going to change the colour. So, first of all, I'm going to take the sheen off this uh, the paint that's on here because obviously I want to spray them an aluminium colour. So, I'll have a bit sand with your old wet and dry. Elbows are sore. I told you in the previous video, I've got tennis elbow and both elbows. I know you're thinking, look at with this video, God, he looks good on the outside, but by God, yes, you're true, but on the inside, I'm all broken up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Jobs are good. I'll run off. Why? Oh, yeah, look at that, man. So these are my belly pans that came all the way from China, from AliExpress. I can't remember which company it was. But they also have the, the little uh, fly screen, the copy of the Triumph one as well. That's about 25 euros. And this was, I think it was about 60, I think. There we go. We'll try that now. So we're going to give it a, a first a coat of um, primer. Already done one to give it a test. And it seems okay, so we'll do the second one. So we'll let that dry, it's a primer. Unfortunately I don't have much paint left. These are the, this is the aluminium paint I had for doing my car wheels which is about the right colour. So we'll see what it comes up as. So we've got enough to do. And a little bit of, uh, a little bit of um, clear coat on top. So viewers, I just just had them back in the kitchen to give them a little sand down so they're nice and smooth my uh, camera woman would have videoed it but she was too busy doing other things but anyway so we're back to this now now we'll put some colour on her
Ja, så var det. Jag tror att det är så att det var så att det var så att det var Right, we'll let that dry and we'll give it another coat. It's not bad, eh? Not bad at all. So now we've both had two coats of the silver. So I haven't got much of the Kia coat left, but we'll give it a little blast of that too. He's getting the cans getting low, so I don't want it to spit. Come on. about it. I think that's enough. So it looks all right there. Eh? So we'll just let that dry now and we'll see what the crack is. So we've got the belly pans all painted. Now is the fitting job. And since they come from AliExpress in China, hello, that they uh, didn't come with fitting instructions. I know it's not rocket science, but it's nice to have a bit of diagram. So anyway, I downloaded this off the Triumph site for the, well, the original part, so we've got everything apart from number six, which is a bung. We don't have a bung. <laughs> so anyway, let's start. So, let's go here. Take the heat shield off the catalytic converter. Okay, we shall try. It's as simple as that. So where the bloody hell does that go? Oh, it goes in there. Jobs are good. And does that come off there? Can we take that off there? Hold on. 
I should have brought a bloody screwdriver down. Come on, you bugger, you. There we go. Jobs are good. And... Oh! So, I'll put that in there. Keep it handy for the future. Right, that's that. So what's next? It says put a bung over there, but we haven't got a bloody bung. So, fit in the bar. Ah. So Triumph in their wisdom has all the fitting points already um, on the engine block or sump. So let's get these little bolts out. One of them and one of them. That's the longer ones. There should be four of them and five of the others. That's it. Right, so we want this. Oh, we got to bend down with my gummy knees, man. Oh. So, see how oh, that doesn't fit like that, does it? <laughs> it's silly ass. Oh, there, where's the picture? Uh, goes like that. There we go. Jobs are good. Let's see if it fits. Come on. Ah, yeah. By George. Always aftermarket parts, but come on, you bugger, you get it straight. Hold on, I know what to do. Screwing them? No, it's bloody not. Ay, ay, ay. Hang on, will I get lower down? Oh! <laughs> I'll tell you what, we'll put that one in first, maybe. Almost swore there. That's it. Yeah. I'll see if we can get the other one in. Hello. Come on, you fucker. I don't know how to tighten that one up.
don't know if we can get that straight, can we or not? No, we bloody can't. Hold on. Before we damage any threads. No. I don't think that needs a bolt. A little bend in it. So we'll get this tightened up. So a bit of the we got it to fit. I think it says in the manual six newton meters. I don't know what the hell that is. We'll just nip it so it's tight. No, it seems to fit. Oh, fuck's sake. Oh, ay, yeah, yeah. supposed to fit in there. Oh, that's why is that a round bloody hole? It needs to go a little bit further, eh? Because that fits that all right. Oh, 
good fit for that. Okay, so the market needs a little fettling. Is that going to go in? Because I've got one side in with a little bit of fettling. Oh, you bugger. Is that in or not? No, it's not. Ay, 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 ay. that so generally the easiest to put this in not first if this fits directly I'll be a monkey's uncle So it's a short one, isn't it? Ah, oh, it is. I just put the wrong one in there. Hold well, on, we'll get this in first. You know, hold on. We'll take that front one out so I put the wrong bolt in. Since it should have been the short one. That looks all right, eh? Oh, I'll put the bloody head now. Where the bloody hell's that going? That's it. All right, isn't it? That's the dog's bollocks. Right then. 
So, we'll just spin the bike around so it's on the other side. Nice little sit on the old pavement. I've got a garage in proper tools, a whole set of tools, all the champions that I haven't and I haven't, so I may do what I've got. We're back again, I have to refit the, um, the belly pan. I've already done the right hand side one, as you can see. Looks quite canny. And I've replaced the, the fitting bolts because the the ones that came with the kit one of them already snapped off on uh, when i'm fitting on the on the left hand side so i went to the local diy shop and got four of these which is just a job far better so anyway we'll fit this belly pan the left hand side And also I used the Loctite on the threads on the other side too. And if you see, if I can get it down here. Oh, where are we at? There is the one fitting place. And the other one is here. So here and just under the oil filter oh. so excuse the camera work because I'm filming them myself since my normal camera person my daughter has become really selfish and went to school <laughs> oh. and since I've got a break in the weather We'll get it done now because it's been a crap week. We've had uh, rain, we've had snow and all this kind of crap. So anyway, let's get this fitted. So let's see if we're a decent spot. Move that so move the camera so we can get a better view. Oh, for fuck's sake, man. And the fucking foot falls off the bloody camera. So, there we go. Nip it up, it doesn't need the gun daft. You see, these bolts are stronger than the ones that came with the kit, anyway. There we go. Solid as a rock. So, and these 
these little things have to go on. Tighten that up. It will pull it through so it'll hold it in position with a bit of look. See if that will work. Because the car thought it said it was uh, 12 degrees. It doesn't feel like bloody 12 degrees to me. So now we have the plastic, let's see if she fits. Oh. This tarmac is not comfortable for lying down. There's the front piece.
careful with these bolts. The original ones didn't go and duff when tightening them. Just a nip. So there we go. That's our fitted, eh? Oh boy. So that's the fitting of the AliExpress Chinese copy belly pan on the train. What do you think? Looks alright. I said the guy said when I wrote to him said it looked a bit uh, for 60 euros for a couple of bits of plastic he said no as I said it was I can't remember what he described it as but I googled it but the google is uh, it's just plastic so it looks all right I have to say yeah it does it looks all right so I'll leave a link if anybody's uh, interested you can have a Have a look on uh, Ali and see what you reckon. Mind you, I'll have to say this, fire beware. Well, I see that get a blanket come up for that. Uh, oh, uh, uh, the mountain, the mountain that eats you. But fire beware from AliExpress. I'll tell you why. Oh, well. So, I was saying, AliExpress, buy a beware. I'll tell you why, because I got myself for my car, for my Peugeot. Which replaced the BMW, as you know, got smacked in Zurich. So I got myself a Peugeot, and I thought, ah, it didn't have Apple CarPlay, so I fancied that. So I got the um, the box of AliExpress uh, for the CarPlay. I paid, uh, I think, about 260 odd euros, including postage with FedEx, and um, it come really fast came within five days from China, bloody good, anyway, I waited because it was a Christmas present, but anyway, because of work commitments, all this kind of bollocks, I waited until after Christmas to fit it, so then my so-called right of return was um, expired, but I... Uh, Anyway, I fitted it. I was come with the instructions, just like this belly pan, the instructions. So I wrote to the guy and he told me what to do and I'd already Googled it or YouTubed it. But I couldn't get any sound. Because it worked champion. Because the Apple CarPlay, especially the maps, Google Maps or Apple Maps, is far better than the sat nav on the bloody car. But anyway, Just stopped again. Now, why would that stop? Hmm. I like it that sent to the dealer because it shouldn't do that. Ah, bloody hell! We thought this was fixed. Yeah. <laughs> 
hand grips work properly. Bloody hell, no gun right with this thing. So anyway, I'll uh, take a bit of video and send it to the, send it to me dealer. So back to the Ali, Ali uh, Express in the car play. I did fit it to the champion, but I couldn't get any sound. And he said, "Oh, you have to wire this in around and, keep, and put it into the aux socket," which was true. But every time you restarted the car, you had to take the, the plug out of the aux and re-plug it back in, <laughs> which didn't always work. So I wrote to him. I said, "Hey, this is crap." I want to send it back here. Oh yeah, send it back, send it back, we've got a refund. Well, I'll send it back through one of the websites who use DHL. And it's been sitting in the Chinese uh, customs somewhere in China for the last two months. Because the twat I bought it from refuses to go and, cause he, go and collect it. Or, no, sorry, he has to send specific paperwork. Specific paperwork to collect it, and the twat has refused to do that. So as long as he does that, he doesn't have to send me any money back. So the twat is doing that. He's refused it to send them paperwork. So there's absolutely jack shit I can do. I've already had letters from DHL saying the Chinese wanted to destroy the package. You know. So what can I do? That's it. So I'm going to lose 250 euros because of that twat. So, if you're buying from AliExpress or, or the other one, Wish, buyer beware. Eh? And of course, that is just my opinion and my experience, what I've just had. And I got absolutely no help from AliExpress whatsoever. Okay, viewers, that's the fitting of the um, Triumph Copy Belly Pan. I hope you've enjoyed. I will see you soon. Bye-bye now.